All right, so it's Saturday here in Galveston. It's our second Saturday. And uh, of course we work full time, so Saturdays are a special, special time for us. Unfortunately, it doesn't really look like it, but the weather's sort of crappy. Uh, it's sunny, but cold. What is it right now? What is it? It's 51 degrees outside. And when the wind hits you at 51 degrees by the ocean, it's a tick. We're not going swimming. That's what I'm saying. So today, what are our options, dear? Go to the Moody uh, site where they have three pyramids and butterflies and all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. Or go visit the USS... Charleston? No. Charlotte? Charlotte? There's So there's... We, we just discovered this. We don't know yet. There's a... Uh, submarine and also Battleship Memorial that we just learned about yesterday, so we might go there. But anyway, we'll decide that in a minute. But first things first, I'm making breakfast. I'm, I'm going to make it big. I'm going big today. I'm going to make fried eggs and real, real potatoes and toast. And I'm going to spend about $44 worth of eggs today for four. How much do these eggs cost? Six bucks! For these eggs. And we could go out for cheaper than that. But we're not. I'm going to make breakfast today. So let's do it. Ready? One, two, three. Boom! When I come back, please. Today, in fact, Kim and I have decided to go to the USS... Cabala. Cabala. C-A-B-A-L-L-A. -L -L -A. It's a Gato-class submarine. And uh, apparently, it's also next to a, another sort of craft. So we don't do a lot of research for going places. What's the fun in that? You want to go there and just check it out, right? Right. Right. So, a few things have been on my mind. One, uh, we're not getting as many subscribers as we'd like. What do you think the main reason for that is? I don't know. I'm curious, I love I, this community. I watch all the channels. I love it. I have two reasons in mind. One, I don't talk enough. I should talk more. I should just show me talking. No. Just sitting in front of the camera and just no nothing in the no beautiful scenery. No. <laughs> just no. Everyone knows Greg. We're done. Well, We're good. And re another real reason, I, I'm horribly groomed. <laughs> I'm very ill groomed. I never well, let's have. Let's fix you up. Here's the challenge: is I'm always wearing a hat that my my favorite green uh, Mickey Mouse hat, which I didn't wear today because I've noticed when I do videos it covers my face and it's like like this. It's also very windy today. Yeah, it's also very windy and I'd lose it. So the challenge is to find me a hat that's not... I don't wear a hat because I need to keep the sun out of my face. I wear it to keep Katrina. Which is now category six. Get to be category six. And also to... Um, because my hair is always a mess. And if my hair is not really short, I don't, I don't want to bother with it. So I can't think of a hat that would actually tick all that, you know, cover Katrina, not look stupid, but not cover my face so that the camera would be in the way. Except in the winter when I'm wearing beanies, which is fine, but it's, I don't, I'm not a summer beanie guy. So maybe it should be. I'm certain almost no drugs are dealt here. Almost none. Right here where we are. What do you mean, drugs? Dealt. No drugs were dealt here. It was, I was making a joke about how people deal drugs here. In Galveston? No, right here, oh. in this wharf area, which is, you know, wharfs have a classic connotation as being sketchy. The docks, you know, down by the docks, yeah, by the docks yeah. where they deal drugs and no good goes on all day long. <laughs> We're actually passing a plant that uh, looks like a refinery plant. Yeah, where they, they make drugs. <laughs> and they deal them right there on that corner. <laughs> you have any cash? I do. <laughs> There's so much to see in Texas. So We've see said it before and we'll say it again. Don't, don't underestimate Texas. Texas has got a lot going on. Ooh, that's all that yellow stuff. Oh, that's all the drugs. That, I'm fascinated by just wow. this drive. There's the cruise ships. Look at all the big ships. Is the 40 million? Yep, the 40 yeah, million yeah, dollar yeah, ship yeah, is yeah, still right. there too. Yep, yep, yep. Top tip. Getting to the USS Cabala Memorial is a journey in and of itself. Oh, it's kind of fun. Yeah. And now we're across the bay from where all the cruise ships. Oh, there's a Princess cruise ship. And uh, So there's three yeah. cruise ships out today. Right now, yeah, there's two two Carnival and one Princess. And a mega yacht. Mm, and a mega yacht. We can't see that from here, though. By a huge Houston tycoon. Yeah, we saw that. I, that's on video. We saw that the other day. Charlie's not impressed. 
Charlie impressed? You care? Oh. Okay, didn't think so. Right, so we'll be there soon. So wait a minute, dear. I'm all right. What what was that last part? <laughs> don't go on the double barrel. And don't touch any knobs. Okay. Just like the last. Yeah, I feel like this is less restored or less uh, gentrified than the Lexington. Yeah, the Lexington definitely. This has is just sort of a. We parked the boat here and we're gonna let people look at it, which is fine. In a way, it's more, it certainly smells. I'm sure it smelled like this when it was in use because it smells like oil and gasoline. I don't even know what this is. Okay, this is Cruise Head, lavatories, toilets, and showers located on the main deck. Hey, don't be so angry about it, dear. It's in the top. Again, we don't, I don't want to make too light of the, the you know, it's a, it's a battleship and it's seen service and we're grateful for that, so. Let's not forget that. Oh. This is very smelly. Wow. Those are the torpedo chutes. I, they look like engines to me, but I guess that's all the pneumatics to get it to push out. Here's some torpedoes. I mean, I can't even, I can't even imagine. I can't even walk in this thing when it's stationary. <laughs> okay, this, I don't think I can really describe. That's only about three and a half feet high. Here we go. you were here at all. Uh, I'm just oh. going to board meeting with the ghost here. Ooh. Seeing how they're liking their time here. <laughs> this is the dead reckoning table. What is a dead reckoning table? I love the wallpaper. They actually took time to put wallpaper in a cell. <laughs> oh, they did, and it's very patriotic. <laughs> Who awarded that contract? I'm just saying. I know oh. how military contracts go and someone won that one. <laughs> We got to put wallpaper in the submarine. Let's make it patriotic. <gasps> Dead reckoning is a method of navigation in which a ship and later aircraft seeks to determine its bearings starting from a known position. The pilot tracks the course and speed of its vessel over a precise period. Oh yeah, like on Red October. What'd you think of the torpedo room? That was cool. It was cool. 
Hey, the, no, so there's a bathroom. Why is there a bathroom? Because they shit their pants after they just took them. <laughs> Seriously, I thought the same thing. You're sitting right next to torpedoes and there's a toilet. I mean, did you show that on film? I did. I did. <laughs> it's like, dude. I think we're I think we're sitting here because it's the only warm spot we found in this entire adventure really today since we left the car. <laughs> I would say those are slightly tighter than the ones on the two boats we've seen. Or about yeah, the same. Yeah, because you go. Yeah, it's hard to tell because you got the There must be a standard length because I mean you can't sleep if you can't at least. Yeah, and these kids were like 150 pounds. We're yeah, but kids. they're they're tall. Is that the captain's quarters? I think we are. Oh, no, that was know. in the boat. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, this is the cap look, at the, look at how extravagant the captain's quarters are. He had his own sink and his own teeny tiny bed. Oh. But he has some stories to tell. Navigator's quarters. I feel like the navigator. Oh, that's two guys in there, though. Oh, look at the pictures of family and stuff. Am I correct in saying that this is a ship just like the one that sunk the Shikoku. This it's is not the, the actual one. ship that sunk it. I thought this was the actual one that sunk it. Oh, we'll find out. So that's the adventure. You find out as you go along. Why research ahead? Yes, this is the one that actually took it down. I think this is wrong, but I'll find out. I'll tell you later. Look, if it's a doormat just for you. Short people. Short people need little doors. Oh my gosh, look at this place. I feel like there are a lot of things to attend to in a submarine. Oh, cramming another door. <gasps> okay, seriously, don't. Are you hungry? Seriously, how do they get through these things? Oh. oh. Okay, here's the funny thing. Our RV galley is probably as large as this to feed two people and they fed how many how many people how many souls are on board we'll check i don't think i've seen that on any of the uh... wow and they had vcrs and dvds well it wasn't so bad then they had entertainment hope no one had gas at night i hope this music is all oh, i can license it all because i like it I should say, I hope I don't get a license ding on YouTube from the groovy music. Here's my question. Do women serve on modern submarines? Okay. I swear, if I have to do one more of these. Oh, this must be the engine room. Judging by the engines. That's a fair point. Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh, that's the aft torpedo tube. That is a great shot. How do they make these not light? There are. No, these aren't bunks, are they? Right next to the torpedo? I think that's how they... No. Whew. Now imagine, you've been in this thing for months at a time, and this is the first time you've seen this for months. You probably didn't hear a motorcycle like that. Though. Oh, 
I'm telling you, that fresh air feels good after being in there for half an hour. I'll miss you. Write me. I love you. Say that again. <gasps> I said they have experienced ghost out here on these um, submarine and ship. Uh, so they brought in two um, paranormal teams that have come in and done the reports and have, they have reported after night that there are some paranormal activity. So I guess you can take a ghost tour and uh, during Halloween mm. they have a trick or treat thing. So, so all the funds are for charity. Yeah. So what did you think of that generally other than frigid cold? I thought it was interesting. I wouldn't make it an all-day thing. Uh, no, it kind it's, of it's a, I think we're only there maybe 45 minutes an hour maybe. Yeah, I mean it's definitely interesting. It's just not as large as a carrier so it's just not as much to see but it's certainly interesting. By the way I read that approximately 3,500 people died on submarines during World War II. Jeez. That's a lot of souls on submarines. And uh, it, it, you're correct this in fact so the USS um, Cavalla. Cavalla did in fact sink the uh, Japanese carrier, the Shokoku, which was a uh, primary uh, player in Pearl Harbor. So that's how it's, and it's called the Lucky Lady. So we'll tell you more about it. I'll find some more about it and, and uh, tell you more about it. But that, I thought it was fascinating. It really was fascinating. I think more than the carrier, even the submarine, or the, more than the battleship, the submarine is just so small. And I don't know, you know, now with nuclear submarines, they can be down there months at a time, I think. Back, even back then, with diesel, I think they were down there for weeks at a time. And can you imagine being down there that long without coming up? Ah. You read that one sign where the captain says, we're turning around, we're going out to sea for six months because you know too much. That was what was on the call over the speakers to his team. I did not hear that. Yeah. That's interesting. There's so much wall. to learn when you go to these things. That's what's fascinating. World War II history alone. Had you heard of any of this before today? No. No. You don't know. It's just fascinating. And like we said a hundred times, Kim and I are not really museum people. But things like this that really take you into a situation that people, you know, rather than just an art museum or something like that, is just fascinating to me. I really do enjoy it. You're standing where they saw and heard things. Horrific things. I mean, yeah. that... Yeah submarine took some hits mm -hmm. so and I wanted to fly my drone after the fact but it was just too windy so wait it's really windy it's really today. too windy for my little drone to go up today so off anyway to now I guess we're gonna late find lunch? some late lunch huh Charlie actually lunch dinner okay did you miss us yeah, she missed you not me. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, no, no.